Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Today I'm going to read this, well, go over this article that was on Z ZDNet, the most, the most loathed programming languages. Here's how developers cast their votes. So this is from Stack Overflow only. So uh, let me point out that it does not represent how popular the languages are because some of the most hated programming languages listed here are uh, extremely popular. PHP, for instance. So let's uh, look at it. So the top of the list apparently is um, Perl. Now Perl is a programming language back in the day. It was used for server automation. It's a very compact, terse, meaning uh, less code, uh, programming language. And it was used for server automation task, which has been replaced by Python. It was also used quite a bit in the early 90s, very early 90s, for web development before page level type of uh, web tech came out for dynamic websites for web apps. The problem with Perl is that there's all these different flavors of Perl and there's many different ways to do things in Perl. So Perl code was notoriously uh, very, 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 very miss messy. And the Perl philosophy was, you know, write your Perl code the way you want to write it. And it sounds good, except when you want to go and update the code or see what the code was doing, because everybody was doing it in their own special way, it was a disaster. And it reminds me, I spoke about this in a vlog from years ago, where I was hired by a company to take over a project, an early version of a social network, and it was written in Perl by the previous company. So I came in there to fix it, because the previous company couldn't fix it after a year, and I looked at the code base and it was such a disaster. I said, okay, forget it. This is, this is gonna be a rewrite. So I rewrote it using, at the time, what was cutting edge technology, classic ASP, which was, was the first page level technology uh, out there. And uh, I wouldn't be using classic ASP today, of course, which is one of the hated uh, languages, although, although classic ASP is not really a language, it's a framework. Anyhow. I was able to rewrite the Perl app in just uh, one month, uh, whereas the previous company has spent over a year or so writing this app in Perl. But classic ASP was such a game changer in terms of the productivity that I was able to do it in a month uh, on my own. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so Perl is one of the most hated languages. Uh, it says here, Stack Overflow gathered its data for ranking the most disliked languages from its developer story features on its job page, which allows users to add tags for languages they would like to work with and languages they would like to avoid. Other intensely disliked languages included PHP, Objective-C, CoffeeScript, and Ruby. On the, other, on the other end of the scale, the least disliked language included R, Kotlin, TypeScript, Rust, Bash, Closure, Swift, Python, JavaScript, and Go. Um, actually, I was looking at Swift recently, and I'm going to do a vlog on this. Uh, Swift was open sourced by Apple, and IBM, who has a history of, of seeing the future, decided to uh, get involved in Swift in a big way. And what they've done is they've turned Swift into a server side programming language, and they've done some, uh, they've released some, uh, lots of open source software. They've created uh, a framework for it, for the server. And I've done just some superficial reading, but one of the most interesting things about Swift is that it's very productive in terms as a coding language, much in the same way as PHP or JavaScript or Python. But it also, uh, it compiles down, so it, it runs nearly as fast as C. Like right beside C, and you gotta understand. Like if you if you had a chart, C is the fastest language. Uh, then you would have Java, PHP. Then you would have JavaScript. Then you would have Python. Then you would have uh, you know Ruby. In terms, you know, this way is slower. This way is faster. So C is really super fast up here, and the next thing is like Java here. Well, guess what? Swift is right here. Unbelievable. So uh, IBM has uh, put out this framework based on Swift that envisions a whole new way of developing apps where apps are uh, built through um, microservices type of framework. Anyway, I'll get into that later. Swift is a, an interesting development. I didn't know it ran so fast at runtime. 
That said, uh, it's something to look into. But, you know, as I said, in terms of jobs, don't go, I got to drop everything, I go to Swift. No, it's huge amounts of work with Python, PHP, JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, C, you know. So anyway, uh, Stack Overflow data scientist Robin Robinson notes that the least disliked tag tend to be the fast growing, tend to be the fast growing in terms of questions asked by developers on Stack Overflow. Languages that fit this pro profile including R, Python, TypeScript, Go, and Rust, which questions with, while questions with tags for Perl, Objective-C, and Ruby are steadily shrinking. Microsoft didn't fare well either. Uh, people didn't like Microsoft technology. Uh, other highly disliked technologies included COBOL. COBOL is the old uh, language for mainframe servers. Amazing, after like, what, 40 years, people still code it. Uh, Adobe Flash. Yeah, it's weird. I guess they got legacy Flash apps uh, that are still being used, which is a disaster. Uh, Microsoft Classic ASP. I just spoke about that. And Microsoft itself. Apple also share also appears there, as does Microsoft SharePoint, IS, and Access. It's worth emphasizing again that this is no indictment of the technologies, their quality, or their popularity. So it says in the article, uh, it is simply a measurement of what technology stir up the strong negative feelings in at, at least a subset of developers who feel comfortable sharing this publicly, uh, who feel share, excuse me, who feel uh, confident or comfortable sharing this publicly. It's interesting. Uh, the most liked technologies, including machine learning, Git, Python, HTML5, CS3, JSON, Docker, Amazon Web Services. That's it for this article. I thought that was kind of interesting. Again, um, as I've explained in several other vlogs, these days, these all these languages have their place. Uh, most of them, with the exceptions of like uh, Flash, for instance, they uh, there's plenty of job opportunities going forward. Like I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't touch Flash. I wouldn't touch, and so that means ActionScript, which is Flash's programming language. I wouldn't touch Perl. Uh, C++, C, lots of jobs there, but that's a type of coding that you have to like. It's very different from, let's say, uh, writing apps in Python or Swift or, uh, or the web stack, for instance. Just keep that in mind. That's it for today's vlog.